all right guys superbike angel back with another video very excited because this time we'll be reviewing and going more in depth about the 2006 mv augusta f4cc if you guys watched the last video where we're when we were reviewing the ducati v4 sp2 uh at the end of the video this my this bike made a quick appearance and it was more of a teaser just to kind of get your guys attention obviously hopefully that worked but yeah, in this video, let's go and do a more in-depth review of what the bike is, why it's so special. And of course, uh, towards the end of the video, we're gonna fire it up and take it for a quick ride. So definitely watch the whole video throughout. Let's go. All right, so what makes this bike so special? Well, first of all, it's only one of a hundred that were made for the whole world. Uh, the story of the bike is back in uh, mid-2000, Claudio Castiglione, who, who was the president of MV Augusta at the time and the owner of MV Augusta, uh, decided to build a bike for himself, essentially, use all the best parts, uh, basically what it was his dream bike. So once the bike was finally done, he was like, he was so impressed with it, he decided to build 99 more for the rest of the world because he wanted to sh essentially share his dream with the bike. Um, if you look at uh, the letter that's included, uh, I'll show you guys that later on with the packaging of the bike, basically says one for me and 99 for you guys. But what's so special about the bike besides the fact that it's one of a hundred? This bike at, uh, at the time in 2006 was worth 100,000 euros. In US dollars, that was about $120,000. Now, there's a number of reasons why it was so expensive. It was probably, I mean, uh, uh, even to even to nowadays standards, it's ridiculous to have a $100,000, uh, $120,000 bike. So what was so special about it? First of all, if you look at uh, the fairing, every single part on the fairing, front fairing, carbon fiber, side fairing, uh, obviously the air runners, the, the, the rear part, everything is carbon fiber. You can actually see the paint job is ex ex exposed at uh, uh, certain places. Obviously the rear uh, fender as well. Every single part of this bike, uh, when it comes to like essentially the fangs, it's made out of carbon fiber. The bike itself, when it comes to the engine, it's a 10, uh, 1078 engine, which was a pretty much a brand new engine for them at the time. If you look at on the mirror, it says 1080, it's a 1078. Uh, it's to my knowledge in 2006 was actually the first bike to produce 200 horsepower. That's right. In 2006, uh, this engine combined with the uh, uh, full titanium race exhaust, which this bike is equipped with right now, was rated at 200 horsepower. That's ridiculous. Uh, if you compare it to Ducati, uh, first bike that I think Ducati made 200 horsepower was the Desmond Seducci and the 1098R, which came out in 2008. So this bike was definitely a couple years ahead of its time, even to nowadays standards, you know, 2024, to have a two, 200 horsepower bike, it's pretty incredible. Uh, when it comes to the engine or just the bike uh, overall, you know, yes, it looks like all the other first generation F4 CCs, but pretty much 90% out of every component on this bike is completely one off. Every single part was pretty much made uh, one off and it was handmade. Uh, if you look at the essentially the the clutch lever, the brake levers, I believe those are titanium or billet. You know, uh, when it comes to the actual engine, uh, they use lighter connecting rods. Same thing, lighter pistons, uh, titanium valves. The engine by itself was four kilos lighter compared to the regular F4 RR at, uh, at that time. That's 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 incredible. I mean, to have a four kilos that's that's a huge amount of savings when it comes to the uh the weight savings when it comes to the engine by itself the bike overall was about 412 pounds if i recall co correctly without uh any fuel in the gas tank uh obviously magnesium swing arm check out all the carbon pieces that it all everything comes with it already uh on the swing arm as well uh another cool fact Top speed of the bike at that time was 196 miles, about 315 kilometers for all the Europeans. And the reason that they had to electronically limit the top speed to uh, 195, 196 miles was because the technology of the tires at that time was pretty much the capacity. They felt that the bike would be unsafe at any higher speeds 
with those tires at the time. Obviously nowadays there's much better tires. So this bike could probably easily would have done 200 miles at that time, which is pretty incredible. I mean, every single detail on this bike, if you look at it, you know, from the seats to the gas cap, every single piece on this bike is one of top, top notch quality. Definitely a piece of art. Also, a lot of the stuff that they put on the bike or that they created from the bike came directly from the uh, MV Augusta racing program at the time. One of those things is the uh, Brembo Racing uh, brake calipers, which was like direct, pretty much descendant from their uh, uh, MV Augusta racing program at the time. Also, if you look at all the mesh grills here for the air vents, all that stuff, every single part is that made out of titanium. I mean. There's a ton of titanium bolts on it, I believe. Also, the foot rests are billet or titanium. Don't quote me on that part. Uh, but like I said, they went out all out on this bike. Like I said, initially it was supposed to be a one-off just for Claudio Castiglione. But I mean, luckily he decided to make 99 more to share with the rest of the world. Full titanium uh, race exhaust. Check it out. It's titanium F1 MV Augusta Corsa. We'll fire it up pretty soon right now and take it on a quick ride. So that's kind of a, the review on the bike. That's what makes it so special. Uh, stay tuned later in the video. I'll show you all the other cool pieces that came extra with the bike. Uh, as far as I know, no other bikes usually so far has come with some of that stuff. It will be interesting to show you guys that stuff. So definitely stay tuned. But for now, let's get suited up. We'll start the bike and we'll take it on a quick ride. Give me just one minute. all right let's get ready we'll get the bike started man this thing looks absolutely amazing when the sun hits it it's incredible i love love the lower part with the envy augusta sign the fact that it's pretty much just exposed carbon one thing i wanted to show you guys that's also pretty cool check out the radiator covers all titanium it's got the MV logo on there super super cool as it should be i mean that's a that's a i can't even get over the price tag on this bike so let's get it going you got the cc f4 on the speedo only 578 miles starts right away actually had the bike fully serviced uh, recently so it's all good to go oh the blinkers are on why are the blinkers on there we go we'll let it warm up for a second before we take it on a quick ride not going to be a long ride we're just basically taking it around the block as you guys can see we don't even have the license plate yet so we can't really go too far nonetheless we should be able to check it out and do a quick ride to enjoy it and see what all this uh, 100,000 euros, $120,000 package, it's all about. I absolutely love it. that sound sounds amazing obviously this is a 2006 there is no quick shift nothing wrong with that doesn't bother me man that sound that MV Augusta makes 
There is nothing else like it. Oh, I hear a little bit of pops as well. So light. It's got brand new tires on, so we gotta scrub the tires as well before we do anything stupid. With that exhaust, MV Augustus always sound like old F1 cars. And this one doesn't disappoint either. Exactly the same sound as what I was expecting, even better. Basically, we're just taking it around the block just to get a feel for it. through the gears you do hear a little bit of pops when you're decelerating second gear pull so much fun so much fun your adrenaline level goes up immediately front wheel automatically almost came up let me check something give me one second all right for a second I thought my phone fell out but no it's in my backpack so we're safe there not sure if you guys can hear the pops it's not too loud but there's definitely a sign of little pops when you're decelerating. Put over here for a second. Check out the exhaust. Man, what a machine give you guys a little oh yeah I love it all right let's take it back to the house What a machine riding this thing is so exhilarating like i said it's it, it, it's a very special bike i mean this was literally my first ride on it as i said brand new tires you guys can see where they still have on this scrub so want to take it easy make sure everything runs as is but what an experience once we get the license plate and get everything sorted out we're going to definitely take it on a longer ride just to see how it performs just to stretch its legs out and have some more fun with it hopefully you guys like it so 
as I said, let me just kind of show you all the other cool stuff that came with the bike. Give me one second and I'll put everything out so you guys can check it out. Definitely, definitely stay tuned. Be right back. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the cool things that came with the bike is this leather jacket made by, let's see, I think it's pronounced Chosardi, the Italian, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's Italian, leather maker. Uh, basically has the F4CC embroidery. Um, I've actually never worn the jacket. As you guys see, it still has the tag. It's brand new. It is a large, but it's European large, so it's a little bit small on me. But that's one of the things that came with the bike. I'll show you the other cool stuff as well too right now. This is actually the second thing that came with the bike that is super cool. Let me actually set the camera down and I'll open it for you guys and show you what it is. It's a watch by Gerard Perigo. Very cool. I mean, just check out the whole presentation. It's got all the original books that came with the actual watch. Super cool box. And here's the watch by itself. This is the watch. Let me show you on the back. Take this out. If you guys can see the back of it, it's actually numbered on this side. It's hard to see, but it's number 87 out of 100. So basically the watch matches the number of the bike. This watch at the time was worth 15,000 euros, which was about, I don't know, about 15 to $17,000. Which is obviously one of the reasons that the bike itself with everything was about $120,000. But pretty cool to have a matching watch, a matching number with the bike by Gerard Perigo. Very, very famous watchmaker. Cool brand for sure. And I'll show you the last thing that I think it's very special that comes with the bike right now. And last but not least, we have a couple more cool items that came with the bike. This is basically a letter from the president. Obviously, the bike is named after him, Claudio Castiglione. As you guys can see, there's 100 bikes made, one for him and 99 for the rest of it. Kind of gives you an idea of what the bike is. Uh, 1078 engine, top speed 315 kilometers or 195 miles. The bike was actually limited to that top speed electronically due to uh, the tire technology at the time. Bikes, uh, they felt like it wasn't safe to go any faster with those tires. And again, it tells you only 100 units were made, 100,000 euros for the bike. And obviously the Gerard Perigo watch that was coming with it at, at $15,000 uh, 15, euros at the time just for the watch. And it gives you the specs for the bike. So as I said earlier, this is probably, uh, from my knowledge, the first bike that was rated at 200 horsepower. Pretty cool in 2006. So that's that. Put this away and I'll show you the other stuff that comes with it. Very, very cool presentation. Basically, this is where the certificate is and some of the other books. And also, once again, tells you number 87 F4CC out of 100. This is the bike, put that down here, check this out. This has the rest of the books and this is the actual certificate of the bike. Let me see, it's inside here. Pull it out so you guys can check it out too. Let's see where it is. Oops, come on, come on out. All right, let's pull out the whole thing actually. Here is the actual certificate that comes with the bike. Once again, number 87 of 100 signed by Claudia Castiglione. So super cool. And then the rest of it, you have just all the books. So it's important, like I said, especially for this kind of a bike to have everything together with it. It's like I said, truly a collectible piece. And the fact that everything was with it, it just makes it worth obviously more and retain its value better. So. That's about, about all the cool things that comes with the bike. Hope you guys like it. Here's another cool part that came with the bike as well. Even the, the actual bike stand that's, that's with it compared to like all the other MV Augusta bike stands that come with it. This is, you know, pretty special. I believe it's all aluminum. Very, very light. Got the MV Corsair riding on the side. You know, very, very cool bike. 
And as you guys can see, I think on the next video, we'll probably do a comparison between some of the other MVs. We got the 2005 Ago, we got the, uh, the Oro, the Senna, and the Tamburini. So basically now we have all the cool first generation F4s, including the Big Daddy 2006, the Claudio. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, stay tuned for more. I'm gonna make more videos with all the bikes. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get to see all the cool stuff. Peace out.